Major funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. and we recognize that our tax dollars are paying for the ongoing escalating human rights assault on the Palestinian people. We as Americans are here today to tell the Senate and the Congress no longer in our name and no longer with our tax dollars. This is an American issue. You're giving three minutes to remove yourself from your sentence. I'm leaving for the Middle East in about three days, for months. How many pieces will we have total? Yeah. Yeah. 25. 25 cases total. The camera, take the camera and go. Don't, don't we are staying at the hotel. Okay, we have a van load of equipment. Okay. We can't unload here and carry it all the way. Not here, no, 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 don't, don't uh, camera here. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah. Don't. Uh... He doesn't want us to film. Why is that? Why, is Why that? not? 
Not picture here, because this is not a good. Is this a military area now? No. Don't picture it. There is nothing to hide in the territories. Everyone is, can come to the territories, can visit, can speak freely. Uh, everything is open. <laughs> In the territories, wherever you go, basically you're free to report what you see. They are doing their best that they don't want anything from the occupied territories to go abroad, to be known abroad by foreigners. They don't want that people abroad know pretty well what's happening over here in the occupied territories. We believe that it's important that we meet the high moral standards which our country expects of us. So that we believe it's a different army that operates when it's, everything is an open book, when everything is subject to review. They want to kill people, they want to shoot people, they want to smash bones of people, and they don't want anybody abroad to know about it. Hey, is it a closed military area? It's not a closed military area. As far as we're concerned, it's all an open book, and we're not trying to hide anything. Certain basic human rights are denied by the very fact of military occupation. I mean, the, the government, of course, is not voted. Uh, there is no free freedom of speech, freedom of movement, freedom of organization. Of course, we are denied of all of civil rights available to ordinary people all over the world, and we are treated as second-order citizens. Our problem doesn't come from that. Maybe we can survive with this fact. Our problem comes of the continuous planning of the occupation authorities to get rid of us as a demographic problem presenting them. And therefore, most of the time, we can talk about a policy of slow transfer. We felt all the time that someone is pushing us out of this country. I saw the soldiers and some engineers. So I, I, I asked him, what are you doing? He said, we are going to build a new building for Egypt buses and all these things. But I didn't thought that maybe they will close the street. They gave us a 24-hour warning. We read in the paper on Sunday that they were going to rezone this area. We are only a minute and a half from the Damascus Gate, the main entrance of the city, and the street is dead. So by this closure, 
that they have uh, killed the street completely and the business will be zero. This is something horrible. What's going on? That's mean hundreds of families, they will stop working. Hundreds of families, they, they will not have jobs. Just possible, okay? Just possible. You see what they are doing in this country, you see? We were doing okay. We at least uh, had some bread on our uh, table. But now, with the closure of the street, it has uh, been rendered worthless, totally. Imagine you are from Jerusalem and you need a permission to be in Jerusalem also. It's not just a closure about the people in West Bank and Gaza, also they start for the people inside Jerusalem. What does the sign say? It says buses and, and cars with permits only. So I'm trying to find out how to go about uh, acquiring a permit. We're completely cut off. You can't pass according to the law. We need a permit. It says cars with... You per want a per uh, permit? Yes. And according to the sign, you can't do it? If, if we have a permit, we can do it. But I can't find where we get this permit. Listen. Yes. I think that only the police can give you a permit. Uh, they told me that only you could give me a permit. Oh. Here in this town, the Palestinian third is being discriminated against in a very serious way because they're not represented in City Hall. The only person in City Hall who's an Arab is the one serving the tea. He's serving the tea and coffee and probably the one cleaning the toilets. وهل انت بتعتقد انه فينا في ناس عم تنقتل بالشارع مش حدا عم بي... بيعطوهم جواب لهم قدم اعتراض على اساس شو اقول لهم سكرتوا علي الشارع وينه السلام بس ينا... بس يشممونا شم منه شم بدناش بدناش نلمسه بدنا نشمه شم بس نشمه شم السلام street it's not a good street and who said so that we have we must take a permission to come to our shop this is very rude you know this is something disgusting I don't know they tell you not to film them yeah are you rolling yeah they put him with a gun on his head Well, this moment, I still remember the war in 1967. After they occupied our country, I saw five soldiers. This is the first time in my life to see soldiers with guns, with machine, with wireless, shouting in the street, saying animals to us, uh, beating people in the street, and uh, saying this is our land and it's not your land and we are going to kill you all. To walk in the street, to see soldiers in every place, to tell you, come here, that you are Arabs. We want to, to, to know what's your name, what you are doing here, why you are going to that place or this uh, street. All these questions, all these scenes, all these pictures.
the Israeli government decided as a temporary mean to close the territories. The word close, it's not even um, the proper word. I believe that we are controlling the access from the territories to Israel in a better way. وهذا بيعني انه اكثر من 200 الف عامل من جماهيرنا الفلسطينيه فقدوا لقمه خبزهم اللي بالفعل كانوا قادرين يعيشوا فيها. هذا الكلام انا ما بقدرش اقول عنه الا انه سياسي من اجل تحطيم اراده هذا الشعب وفرض عليه عن طريق لقمه العيش اللي وحليب اطفاله من اجل بالفعل يستسلم ويرفع دي مستسلم ويقول احنا انهينا الانتفاضه واحنا اصبحنا اللي بدها اياه اسرائيل. Hundred twenty thousand uh, uh, Palestinian workers who, who, who we'd made dependent on Israel, uh, the economy of Gaza uh, dependent on Israel for half its income, uh, the economy of the West Bank dependent on Israel. All they said, goodbye, goodbye. It's been nice knowing you. No more. Closed out. It's not only just shooting them in the streets. It's not just arresting them. You see, but also you are launching such a campaign of starvation against those people. What you need is you need a license to go from the territories two years ago. Oh, you my press card? Yes. What's your name? Tom. Tom Hayes. Tom. Why are, why are we being stopped? Can you explain why we're being stopped here? Where are you staying in uh, Jerusalem? Can you explain why we're being stopped here? Can you explain, can you tell me why we're being stopped? No, we are checking all the uh, car from Stachim, from uh, number uh, number blue, blue number. Why is that? It's a blue number, it's for, from uh, from Arab country, you understand? It's not Israeli, it's not Israel. Okay, thank you very much. Understand? Never mind. Jerusalem, for the first time in history, is closed off to the Arabs for, of the West Bank. Uh, and Gaza, that is, they can't come into Jerusalem. We cannot go and worship in Jerusalem. I remember in the last Easter, when we were celebrating uh, Easter and the Good Saturday, we have to march according to the tradition towards Jerusalem to bring back the light that uh, comes out from Jesus Christ's tomb. And this is a religious tradition that we do every year, even during the Turkish occupation, where Palestinians were, Christians were doing that. We can't go to the holy places, to the historical and holy places there. Even my kids don't know the sepulchre church and other churches and other uh, holy places. Also, my parents are living in Gaza. They can't come here and I can't go uh, to see them to Gaza. This is my photo. And here it is written, it is forbidden 
to the person who has this ID card to enter Israel. This green ID card forces us not to enter East Jerusalem or as they say Israel. I can uh, really do nothing yani, with that thing. I'm forbidden to go anywhere. The soldiers are making checkpoints to check the Palestinians, not the foreigners. To check us, the Palestinians. This is the clue, you know. According to the Geneva Convention, we could close the territories, we are speaking about military areas, and we could say no access from the territories. So there is no any violation for for Geneva Convention. But The land is located, it's a program that's made by the government. Our target is to give license, to build houses according to the master plan. This part has always been attached to uh, Zionist planning ever since uh, uh, the past hundred years. So that uh, plans that were made up in the 1930s and 40s for certain areas, not out here so much, but closer to Jerusalem, and other areas were simply taken out of the files and renewed. Well, first of all, I don't feel surrounded by Arabs. I look out the window and I see empty land. I'm not surrounded by anybody. I'm just surrounded by, um, by hills and, and rocks and emptiness. now in the uh, top neighborhood of Shiloh, which was established in 1981, about three and a half years after the first eight families came here to Shiloh. Uh, we have about 50, 55 families in this neighborhood. This is my great-great-grandfather's uh, uh, castle. His name is Mahmoud Beg Abdel Hadi. He was the governor of Jabal Nablus during the Ottomans. Uh, this uh, castle, or the family's uh, old house, about uh, 200 years old, maybe a little bit more. אני לא כל כך פוליטי, אבל מה שאני מאוד רוצה, שזה הכל, ככה אני מרגישה, שזה הכל שלנו, ושזה גם צריך להיות שלנו.
they're still building the settlements, still taking the lands, still de de destroying the houses, still killing. When they will take the lands and demolish the houses, nobody can. They, they want us to say, uh, thank you for demolishing my house. Thank you for killing my son. This is what they want. They don't want any sound. עכשיו הדבר הזה תלוי בערבים, אם הערבים יקבלו את זה, אז זה יתאפשר, אם לא יקבלו את זה וימשיכו בדרך של המאבק, אני חושב שבסוף יצטרכו להישאר פה רק יהודים. וזה באמת לא יהיו להם זכויות שוות. זכויות הפרט, אני חושבת שמגיע להם זכויות, כמו, כמו לכל אחד, וזכויות ששייכות לעם, ששייכות לכלל, אז לא. זה דבר אחר. ו... hearts they don't want peace they want to get rid from us and to import uh, Jews from all over the world to put them what's the idea to change the owners with people the non connection with them with the with the lands we've got a very good suggestion I'm amazed Americans can't understand this we should transfer them all to Oklahoma After all, Oklahoma is an oil state. They've got plenty of oil there. The Arabs are bought up with oil. They'd be happier there than they will be here. Palestinians have the will to exist here. And the Israelis must learn how to behave themselves with this fact that Palestinians are going to exist here and to continue existing here. Well, unless the Israelis decided to, to kill them all. They are doing everything in purpose to make the Palestinian people here feeling uh, disgusting from the situation and start thinking to leave the country. So you think that uh, somebody that was born in South Africa has a right to remove people that were born As here? long as a Jew. I, as long as you're a Jew, yes. It's not just five person or one family. A lot of people, they left the country because they can't handle any more situation. And they want, to leave. they want to leave. They don't have job. They are scared to walk in the street. This is a Jewish state. This is our flag. We felt all the time that someone is pushing us out of this country by different means, by making life miserable for us. This is a Jewish state. By halting our economical development. <laughs> squeezing us taking our land. The solution is that the Arabs should take all their brethren and divide them among the 22 countries and let them make one big Palestine or Disney World, whatever they want to call it. Actually what's going on is someone trying to kick out a nation from this area because he believe that it's a mistake of history that those people resided in Palestine and they shouldn't have been here from the beginning. And nowadays we feel it. We feel that someone is trying to kick us because the only concern of him is to build a pure state for a certain kind of people.
priority should be given to the human dimension of the struggle. If you can't understand this human dimension of the struggle, you'll never be able to solve it. Because the clue is here, is in the human interaction. When we are speaking about ambulances and emergency cases, they can go directly and they check post. And not everywhere we have, we have check post, but the check post, the military check post uh, were, how I say, ordered that in emergency cases and ambulances have a free access. ambulance انه في يعني حاله مو خطر عرب عربي صاروا يقولوا لنا هيك من العربيات هيك غير نذبحكم لسه غير نخلص عليكم هيك اذا من الاسعاف مشان العربيات يخلي الاسعاف ما يحدش ما يخليه يحج بزياده ويوقف قبل السرعه لغايه ما وصلنا هناك تل شمير المغرب شو يمكن الصوب زي هالقيتي قبل الساعه واحد الصوب شوفوا قديش وصلنا تل شمير المغرب So the career ugly had a little change for us today, huh? We give very strict instructions to our soldiers. We instruct them 
uh, in which, uh, in what ways to behave, under what types of situations they can open fire. Their role is to use minimal force to try to have purity of arms of what we call moral principles. Israeli soldiers are not there to inflict punishment. They're there to bring those people who are breaking the law to a court of law. The schools uh, were closed, subject to closure. The first time it was uh, one year. Uh, but in spite of that, uh, the kids uh, did their best at home. They want to study because they knew that the occupation was, the, was responsible for, for this closure. Then I got 11 hours, 1 o'clock in the morning, what happened to the children inside, to the women. They were very afraid. Mm -hmm. They began to cry, to call for daddy or mama. There is nothing can control what they are doing. They do what they want. I have to answer the difficult questions of my kids to avoid them of psychological crisis. What sort of questions? Um, are Jews bad, for example? They keep asking me this question. And my answer was that every nation has the good guys and the bad guys. But unfortunately, we are faced with the bad guys. The trouble begins with the sort of regulations, the open fire regulations that allow shooting in situations where the soldiers do not have to defend their lives, when their lives are not being threatened. When their lives are not being threatened. Uh, the children, of course, are a special case. Uh, since the beginning of the Intifada, 235 children aged uh, 16 and under have been killed by uh, security forces. When two children are killed, it's an accident. When 200 kids are killed, it's a policy. And uh, you're asking me how I feel as a mother of someone who's exactly the age of these kids? I feel pretty horrible. Whereas during the first six months of the first year of the Intifada, 25 children were killed, 
During the first six months of the sixth year of the Intifada, 38 children were killed. And there's absolutely no excuses uh, to, to, the, you know, to the effect that uh, there's no experience. Soldiers were facing situations that they had not known hitherto, etc. Whereas myself was deeply involved in the struggle against occupation, uh, and um, I expected that uh, all Palestinians, all the new generations, will be at some point acting against the occupation. Yet I started to see my children growing up and uh, I started to see that they will be at some point a target for the Israeli bullets. The speed is approximately one kilometer per second. And actually it's devastating effect because of its speed. We've spent quite a, uh, quite a bit of resources in trying to find non-lethal ways to deal with the Intifada. Plastic bullets, rubber bullets, uh, sand bullets, uh, a large variety of ways aside from tear gas and the regular ways of dis dispersing demonstrations. You use a, a variety of measures that are not supposed to be lethal. You have a five and a half year experience that proves beyond any doubt that these measures are extremely lethal, than they have, that they have killed hundreds of Palestinians, hundreds of children, and still you claim that everything is right, everything is fair and square. Where is the catch? What is wrong? Their practices here is that they are driving Palestinians out of the country. They want Palestinians to leave, which is part of their policy of indirect transfer. And killing Palestinians is one of the, uh, the, the policy that they have developed here. The plastic bullet is 0.9 grams, and it's a killing object too. It kills and causes severe uh, wounds and severe damage. The name is so simple and naive, but still it is a devastating bullet. At the same time with this plastic bullet, they were using what we call it the rubber bullet. And this rubber bullet is in two versions. First, the cylindrical version, and what we have it here, we have the spherical version. But if we open, if we peel this version, this rubber, we come to inside, we find a metallic core, and which is about 15 grams. And again, the spherical one, it has a plastic uh, cover. If we peel it again, we have a marble here, which is again is 15 grams. We had many cases in our intensive care have died of this bullet being in the brain. The cylindrical type here, it is uh, lodged in the brain of a patient. The same bullet, we see it here on a girl, which she is 14 months old. This is the same bullet here. Six rubber bullets in his head, jaw, and his neck. These are rubber bullets here. We can see them on the side here. This is fragmented high velocity bullet. And we see its devastating effect on the bones here. Now, if we look at this X-ray, we see small granules here. This is a fragmentation of the plastic bullet. We have about 240,000 disabled uh, among the Palestinian population in the territories here. And uh, one third of them, about 80,000, are intifada handicapped. Uh, and as I told you, 58% uh, of the intifada handicapped are less than 18 years old. So, uh, mainly children. This again, small fragmentation here. This is a devastated fracture here, with small granules. In other ways, with a plastic bullet. Israelis should be exposed to the facts of life in the occupied territories. I don't think they should be allowed to live with their own myth about the purity of uh, arms in the Israeli army, in the myth that Palestinians should be thankful for Israelis and Jews to come and settle in this place. He was shot by the Israelis. Uh, the, the bullet went like that and came to his arm. So it didn't penetrate to his lung. So it, he was lucky. 
أكثر أنا هل حركة أصابعك أنا حركة أصابعك and at the same time he got some bullets in his chest and he uh, really underwent sophisticated surgery here so he's already four months here but his condition is rather good comparatively شو اسمك شو اسمك إياد نانك من وين أنت من مخيم بلاطة it's مخيم بلاطة مخيم الفارعة sorry is a refugee camp in the neighboring of Nablus They built their state on my father's land, on his father's land. They built their state on our Palestine. And we gave them our hand and we told them, please, we want peace. You took the plains, the shores, keep for us the mountains to live with our children, with our generation, and let peace between us and you because you kill the love in the hearts of our children and you destroy the character of your men. You poison the hearts of your men. You see a verse from the Quran here. Allah and you see Allah the holy Quran here beside his head. Allah and a green branch of olive Allah preparing him for the Allah محررة يما قلت لي إذا مش أنا يما إيه مش جيلي اللي بيجي ورانا مش الجيل اللي ورانا الجيل اللي ورانا مش كل الن كل الوطن لا ترى فعريتها وإحنا مش معنا يرفع رايتنا بصير كل الناس تفكر إن الوطن هو الوحيد اللي في قلبها وإحنا منضحي في دمنا وبشبابنا كل الناس أخذوا الشباب we have violent demonstrations inside Israel. I, I don't know of, of a case in, in recent years in which uh, a person was, was seriously wounded, let alone killed. And yet in, in the in the territories, the soldiers use these semi-combatant uh, regulations in, in facing demonstrations where their own lives are not in danger. يحرمني ابني انا انا بامكانه ثمن امطار عنه لازم يمتوا يا زلمه ويحاكموا ليش ليش تلطخوا شو ما هو فاضي ها هي انا فاضي انا شو ليش تلطخني انت شو Gunshots. They're sh shooting up the funeral.
ليش احنا ناقصين يعني الى كذنان ولي ذنان الى كراس ولي راس الى كلسان ولي لسان الى كدان ولي دين مثل ما خلق ربك انا الله خلقني ليش تظل مظلوم انا شو السر يعني Mainly, I'm talking to the normal Americans who are paying those taxes, and those taxes are sent as bullets, as uh, tear gas bombs uh, to shoot, to kill our children. Uh, I say to them, well, uh, what we as Palestinians have committed as a crime against you, so for God's sake, uh, it's time to begin looking on both sides of the coin, on both faces of the coin. Thousands of Palestinians maimed for life. 
I act on conscience to stop the U.S. support for the killings of women, men, and children who will never live to see the flourishing of the Palestinian state we all so deeply want. This flower is a reminder of the people who have died for freedom for the Palestinians. Major funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting.